Hey guys, today is just going to be a simple little tutorial video on how to solder a couple pieces of wire together. So this should be fairly straightforward. Anyway, um, this cable on this fan here is not long enough for me, so uh, I have two options. One, buy a fan extension cable, which uh, would I'd probably have to buy it online and take forever to get here. Or I could just solder on some longer wires, uh, which will involve just cutting this somewhere in the middle and basically attaching these. So anyhow, that's what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, so for your first time soldering, what you're going to need, soldering iron, obviously. Uh, it's not really critically important to have a temperature controlled one in order to uh, solder wires like this because the they're usually not all that sensitive. But in my case, I have the old uh, Heiko FX888D and I'm going to have it set to 650 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and let it warm up. You'll also need something to clean your uh, soldering iron tip with. Uh, that being, in this case, the wet sponge. And I also do have the brass shavings thing. Either one will work just fine. You'll need something to cut the wire with. You'll also need something to strip the wire with. And usually I prefer, especially at least on these really thin wires that I'm working with today, I just like to uh, strip the wire with the uh, side cutters. Uh, obviously we're going to need the uh, extended wire, we'll also need some heat shrink tubing and something to shrink it with. Uh, we'll also need a bit of solder. Now in my case I'm going to be using this solder just because I've got the uh, roll of it here. I do a lot of electronic soldering projects besides uh, wire. This is lead free, it's uh, 20 thousandths of an inch in diameter which is about half a millimeter. Uh, so it's really, really thin solder, and it's not really recommended if you're going to solder reasonably thick wire together. But in today's video, we're just soldering some, I don't know, this might be like 30 gauge wire. It's pretty small. So I'm not too worried about that. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're going to start off just by uh, cutting this cable somewhere. So somewhere where we have enough room to uh, work with the wire and this stuff is really really thin and everything's color coded on here which is a uh, definitely a good thing and I'm just gonna try to usually with these things I end up having to get the uh, side cutters in here and very carefully split the individual strands apart but uh, go ahead and work on that all right, so for now, I'm just going to go ahead and set the actual fan part of this off to the side. And we're just going to focus on this connector. So we're going to strip off a fair amount of this wire very carefully here as to not cut into it with these side cutters because uh, it's not good when you cut off the strands of the wire. It's also really hard not to when you're talking wire this thin. But uh, it's probably stripping a bit more than a quarter of an inch off all right so we've got that's about how far I've got that stripped just enough so that we can twist the wires together and go ahead and pull these back a little bit more too and it's good to twist the wires together the individual strands like this just to start with and this stuff is really thin and now we're gonna take our other pieces of wire here, we'll just start with the uh, blue one and we're going to strip it off about the same length. And this wire I think is actually a little bit thicker. There's one that's really long there for some reason. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these, and if the camera will focus on this area instead of down on the table, what we're going to do is twist them together like so because we do want a good solid mechanical connection between the two pieces of wire as well as the uh, solder on it. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the helping hands tool here just to kind of keep it up in the air, keep it out of the way. And first off, I'm going to go ahead and clean the iron tip off a little bit because this has been slightly oxidized. 
And we do want to have a little bit of solder on the end of this iron tip at all times, not a whole lot. I don't want like a big glob or anything. But now what we're going to do, take the uh, camera, zoom in on the joint here if I can. All right, there we go. Hopefully it'll stay focused on that one point. But what I'm going to do is put the iron underneath the joint and then come on top with the solder. Kind of hard to do working through the camera. Hope that's not aluminum wire. It actually doesn't want to stick very well. Ah, there we go. All right, so that is our first successful solder joint. Looks good enough where the uh, wires are twisted together. We have solder over it, so that should hold together just fine. We'll go ahead and get our next uh, color out here. Just do the green one next. All right, it is also worth mentioning right now, you will need to put the heat shrink on before you solder it if you uh, aren't, uh, or if you can't get to the piece of wire afterwards, like right now, I can still slip the uh, heat shrink onto this end and just slide it over so it's no big deal, but we will have to remember that before we solder this back onto the fan. But anyway, same process again. Go ahead and zoom in on that. Take the two pieces of wire, twist them together. Kind of a pain when they're this thin. You don't really want the wire going over the insulation either, but it doesn't really matter too much anyway. So here we go again, as long as I can get the camera to focus on the spot that I want it to focus on. There we go. And we'll just come in here, put the iron underneath, solder on the top and we can move the iron back and forth a little bit as well to help us that might be a bit too much solder it kind of stuck from my iron tip onto there but we can come back and get that off no big deal and there's our next solder joint hopefully the camera stays focused and i'll actually go ahead and clean the tip of this off a little bit again because it is starting to get that sort of dull gray color on it which isn't good but we'll just come back in here, flow some solder over that. That's about what a good joint should look like there. Well, not blurry like that, but that's a fairly good solder joint. Go ahead and do our very last one here in the black wire. All right, so the way that I like to twist these wires together, you put them so that they're perpendicular with each other like that, they form an X. And then you simply twist them around each other the best you can. And stick it in the helping hands. Stick the soldering iron underneath the uh, joint there. Camera's not gonna focus on that. There we go. Stick the solder iron underneath where we want to make the joint and put the solder on top. So you're never really touching the solder directly to the tip of the iron. But anyhow, there are our four completed joints. You can see those, they're not gonna come apart if you pull on them or anything like that. So uh, it's gonna be good enough. Now we need to get some heat shrink over those and then hook them up to the fan again. So I'm thinking that this size of heat shrink tubing is gonna work. Uh, basically we wanna have the smallest diameter of tubing that we can get and still have it fit over this joint. So anyhow, when you're cutting this stuff to length, we just wanna make it a little bit longer than the actual solder joint itself. So I'm gonna cut it, actually I'm just gonna cut this piece in half I think. 
because these are really short pieces anyway. So I'm just going to cut that in half and slide it down over the piece of wire. And it should be able to cover the entire uh, solder joint there when that gets slid over. And hopefully it doesn't get caught on anything in the uh, process there. There we go. So it'll be just like that. We'll just have to shrink that down. I'll go ahead and uh, cut the rest of the pieces of heat shrink up first though. All right, so I've got my uh, pieces of heat shrink tubing on here. And now we just need a heat source to uh, go ahead and shrink these down. Sometimes you can do it with the heat off the of soldering iron, but eh, it doesn't work too well, at least not in my experience. Um, quick and easy way is just to take a lighter and go over them. Real quick, you got to be careful not to uh, burn them, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and take my little Weller uh, Portisol. Uh, this is actually is a butane soldering iron, but it's got a uh, hot air attachment on it. So I'm just going to use that to uh, go ahead and go over these pieces of heat shrink. Which, uh, if we turn the gas up enough, should actually do good. All right, so that's pretty much it for uh, soldering wires together. Fairly simple process, uh, especially once you get good at it. Uh, but anyhow, really useful skill to have like uh, this. I actually wanted to move this uh, computer fan into a different spot in my case and needed uh, some longer wires and I don't have an extension, uh, fan extension cable laying around here. So I just went ahead and did this and uh, works just fine. And I'm sure, well, I'm sure it will work just fine. It's not done yet, but anyhow, uh, that's about it for a very basic how to solder video. So. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Bye.